All people have some dream that one day they will build an ideal home, but only few people can afford it. But some people are really crazy and they create something it's really unreliable. Today's video we will investigate 5 of the craziest houses on the planet. Before we begin, do us a favor by clicking that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell, for more videos, every day. Number 5. The Pole House, Australia. The Pole House is one of Australia's most iconic homes. Recently renovated, the entire structure is built on top of a 42-foot high pylon. The first version of this home was completed in 1978 and mostly made out of wood. The interior space has floor-to-ceiling glass walls that face the ocean and are fully retractable. While a glass balcony around the property makes you feel like you're walking on air, the Pole House has been a landmark of the region for decades and is often referred to as being Australia's most photographed house. For stunning views, an ingenious design, and a life of luxury, there really is no other place quite like it. Number 4. House Na, Japan. The house was designed by Sufujimoto Architects for a young couple. The use of glass and white steel beams is more reminiscent of scaffolding, and there's no sense of privacy at all. The openness is meant to bring everyone closer together, while at the same time offering them space apart. The inspiration point for the concept was a tree with all its various levels and branches, so this home incorporates those ideas by having multiple platforms and levels within it across three stories. Number 3. The Ark Up Home, Florida. Wait a minute, is it house, or it is a boat? Have you ever seen an actual house atop a boat? That's exactly what's been built in Florida, with a new $5.5 million design called the Ark Up. It's 75 feet long, two stories tall, and contains 4,350 square feet of living space, with its own engines to help you find the best mooring spot, hydraulic stilts to keep it stable, and solar panels so it can power itself in the Florida sun. This could well be the future of waterfront properties. It comes with a slide-out decking area, a lounge, kitchen, dining area, bathroom, and four bedrooms, which make it ideal for a family, or a bachelor looking for one of the most unique pads money can buy. Amazingly it's been designed to withstand a Category 4 hurricane, and it purifies rainwater to produce drinking water, which means this home doesn't need to be connected for supplies and can be taken virtually anywhere its owners want. Number 2. The Floating Seahorse, Dubai. Dubai is renowned for its boundary-pushing architecture, but one of the more intriguing designs was announced in 2019. You may have heard of the World Islands, a man-made archipelago off the coast that's the domain of the mega-rich. One company that owns six of the islands, has revealed the floating seahorse houses that they are building to allow residents to make the most of their new surroundings. Despite looking like a houseboat, the structure that you see is just the tip of the iceberg, and sits above a large underwater component that offers more living space, and ensures the homes stay firmly in place. The bedroom which is on the floor beneath the surface, has automatic curtains that open up to reveal the view, and coral is placed on the lip outside the window to attract marine life. With an asking price of around $3.5 million, it's the chance to be a part of a unique floating community and, if the plans are fully realized, you'd be rubbing shoulders with the most influential people on earth. Number 1. Antilia, India. As a sign of wealth, and catering to the needs of a billionaire lifestyle, Antilia, in southern Mumbai, India, is one of the most expensive, and unusual, houses in the world. It was built by Mukesh Ambani, an Indian billionaire, and is valued at an astonishing $2 to $3 billion, which makes it the second most valuable residence on earth after Buckingham Palace. Antilia is 570 feet tall across 27 stories and features three helipads, a 50-seat theater a ballroom, terrace gardens, a spa, a temple, and a garage with room to hold 168 cars. In all, it contains more than 400,000 square feet of floor space, can withstand a magnitude 8 earthquake and is designed to house Amabni's entire family along with 600 staff. Normally a structure this tall would have up to 60 floors, but the desire for extra high ceilings means that the skyscraper house has less than half of that. 